In this video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a dual battery, dual suspension, foldable fat tire e-bike, the Q7 by Gozen. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Nelson. Welcome back to the E-Riders channel. We're going to be opening up the Gozen Q7 box. As you can see, it's a little thicker. We're going to cut the straps. I want to give a shout out to Gozen for sending us out the Q7 for testing and review. Without further ado, let's check it out inside. All right, lots of padding. Styrofoam everywhere. Uh, we're going to take out the little accessory box and toolbox, see what's inside there. All right, we got the manual. We have a little pouch full of tools, wrenches and Allen wrenches. We have an extra key. And this is the charger for the bike. We have two batteries, we only have one charger. I'm gonna take the bike out of the box. Like I said, it's a little heavy because it's got two batteries, so it's like an extra eight or 10 pounds with that extra battery. Start taking the styrofoam wrapping all over, uh, off the, the frame and, and uh, parts. Like I said, it comes folded. And this bike, uh, Unlike most e-bikes, uh, these foldable bikes tend to come like 98% already pre-assembled. Really, you just gotta like unfold it and put the handlebars on, that's it. So that's exactly what we did. Put the kickstand down just to keep the bike up. We don't put the handlebar on, but uh, we noticed uh, we're gonna have to bring the neck down and that way we can get it in there because the cables won't reach all the way to the top if we have the neck uh, fully extended upward. So we had to fold the neck downward to get it in. All right, we can clamp it down. We'll get the handlebars on now. It is adjustable in the middle there is, is an, uh, a quick release adjustable for the height. So you could bring the handlebars down right now. I think it's pretty much at its max height for handlebars. All right, now we're gonna attach the cord to the battery. Now if I haven't mentioned, or if you don't know, that the other battery is actually inside the seat post. So at the very bottom of the seat post, which extends uh, past the bottom of the frame, uh, the bottom of the battery just requires it to get plugged in. So you just put it in this little notch and you twist it on there and it's secured. And don't forget to put some air in the tires. And then you adjust the handlebars to your adjusted height. Now we're going to show you uh, a little bit about folding and unfolding the bike. It's pretty quick, a couple of steps really, there's not, not much to it. Unlatch the, the neck there, to fold the handlebars down. In the middle of the frame, unlatch that. That's also where the first battery is also installed, is in that, is in that uh, main frame. And the other one's in the seat post. Now also you want to put the kickstand up, that way you can close it. And also the, uh, the pedals fold upward. Uh, that way it gives you a few more inches of, uh, of space. So it's not much, but it's a few inches just by folding the, the uh, pedals inward. And then there you go. That's a folded bike. As you can see, it's uh, pretty compact. You can probably fit this in a, 
trunk of a car, a closet. If you're an RV camper, you might be able to find a little space for that also on the on the on the camper. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with a foldable bike. All right. I want to show you what it looks like on the website. Okay, so here we are on the Gozen website. Uh, as you can see, the Q7 is about $400 off. Uh, it's on sale uh, from its original price. It's currently going for $1,699. I don't know how long that's going to be good for. But uh, if you want to save $400 on a dual battery, dual suspension, foldable fat tire e-bike, now is the time. The Q7 looks like it also comes in two colors, black and a green. Uh, they also have some other bikes and models available, so be sure to check that out. And I will put their uh, website link down below in the description, along with any coupon codes uh, and sales that might be happening at the time. Because, uh, like I said, this price can go up and go down for variable reasons, so always be sure to check that out. And I'll put the links to their YouTube page and their Facebook page also down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the components of the Q7. All right, taking a closer look at the Q7 here. It's a very beefy looking uh, 20 by 4 fat tire foldable e-bike as well. All right, starting off with the cockpit, you can see a large display. On the far right, you have the horn, electronic horn, and thumb throttle. You have a nice winged rubber clamping grip. You have the uh, seven speed thumb shifter and you have your hydraulic levers for your hydraulic brakes with a little adjustment right there. Now on a display we have we still have the protective uh, film over that's why it looks a little weird. We might have a little bit of the glare because we've still got the, the sticker on it. I haven't peeled it off yet. On the left hand side you have the same real nice soft rubber grip with the clamps you have the controls for the display and you have the switch for the front battery or the rear battery we'll turn the bike back on as it's on a timer it's, it turns off if you don't use it at for a while now here's a quick release for the uh, rising and lowering the uh, handlebars and here is the quick release latch for the entire neck of the bike, which folds downward. Here is the integrated headlight. You have lockout and preload adjustments for the front suspension. The bike comes with front and rear fenders. It is a straight through axle, so there's no quick release for the front tire. It's got 160 millimeter disc rotors, and here's the hydraulic caliper right there. These are Chow Yang 20x4 fat tires. All right, that's the main battery inside there. That's the uh, 48 volt 13 amp, and then there's a the clamp for the uh, folding. You release the latch, and then here's the hinge. It folds inward that way. And here's a little charging port. So you can charge the main battery in the tube while it's inside. And, and on the, the battery on the seat post, which is a 48 volt 18 amp, uh, that's the charger for right there. It's built in. And they also charge with a 3.0 charging system, so it's a little quick charging. There's a button on that battery that turns the bike on or off. So you gotta hit that button before you even use the button on the control. It also has a lockout feature for the quick release. So no one can just quick release the seat post and take the battery out and steal the battery. They have to have a key to unlock it. And these foldable pedals, uh, I've noticed a lot of foldable uh, e-bikes use plastic pedals. Uh, when they're folding these are metal so these are going to last a lot longer they're a lot sturdier they feel really solid again you can see how far down that battery that uh, seat post battery goes down to you also have a rear suspension as well 
So front and rear, but that's, that's not it. You also have an extra suspension in the seat. Now the seat itself, it's, I don't know, you could, you could probably see it right here. It's really squishy, like really soft. Might not be wide enough for a lot of people, but there's a suspension as well. So you're getting like triple suspension out of that thing. Here you also have a, a Shimano Tourney TZ derailleur. You have a derailleur guard as well. It's always nice when e-bikes uh, add the derailleur guard. You have a 750 watt motor in the back. Now it peaks at 1000 watts, so that's not bad at all. Also has a 22 amp controller. Really beefy, thick uh, rear rack. Now the bike, it's a, it has a 330 pound payload capacity, so it can take a rider and maybe if you're got a little trailer you want to you want you know tow around you can do that as well with no no problem at all yeah that's the q7 let's go ahead and take it out for a ride check it out all right let's test the pedal assist we're at zero right now so let's bump it up to one One is getting us nine miles per hour. All right, let's bump it up to two, see where it's getting us. Two is giving a good amount more power. We're hitting 13 at two. Let's go to, what is this, three? There we go, it's definitely taking off a lot more. Three, looks like we're gonna be at 16. And let's bump it up to four. But this is four, we'll be giving us a lot more power, as you can tell by the battery. Energy looks like it's really low, but it's not. It's just because we're getting so much power at once. Four is gonna be 20 miles per hour. Alright, let's slow down, turn around, and bump it up to five. Five, it looks like we're getting 23. So we're getting 23 at five, almost 24. 23.9 looks like we're stopping. So yeah, there we go, 24. And in the corner, I have to break. All right, let's test out throttle. All right. Well, this is zero. Let's see if throttle gives us any energy. We're getting nothing at pedal assist zero. Let's try on pedal assist one. Throttle only. It looks like we're getting 8.8 .8 max on pedal assist one. Throttle only. Looks like it's got a cruise control feature. So I let go of it and we're still steady standing at that speed. Hit the brakes. Okay, usually when you hit the brakes, the brakes needs to shut off the power and it's not. Like I'm fighting, like the bike's fighting. Hold it really tight. All right, so it's off. All right, that's something you want to take in precaution. The throttle should turn off once you hit the brakes. I hit the brakes and it did not have the kill switch until I hit it really hard. Once I hit it harder, it kill switch turned on. 
which can be very dangerous. So you gotta be very careful when you're riding a bike. That's nice cruise control. All right, let's check throttle at pedal assist two. Looks like it's not giving full power, so it's gonna be at intervals just like the pedal assist for pedaling. So yeah, it looks like we're 12 and the rest will probably match. Let's bump it up to three. It's at 15. Yeah, see the kill switch worked. It depends on how hard you squeeze. All right, so plus is three, throttle only. What was it earlier? 15, 16? Yeah, 16. Yeah, 16. Let's go to four. Four, we're gonna get 20. And then five will be full power. was 24 miles per hour. And also, be very careful, like I said before, because when you stop, but you think you're you think your bike's done, and then you let go of the brakes and it takes off again, it's dangerous. But you just make sure you squeeze hard enough to hit that kill switch. And be careful when you're doing a U-turn. Especially if you're on pedal assist five and you're trying to do a u-turn most people want to pedal through u-turns obviously you're just turning around you're used to it you just slightly lightly pedal but when you have an e-bike e-bikes will take off so just be careful to you don't fall over and you keep in mind that your motor will sense that you're pedaling even though you're turning it'll sense that you're pedaling so it'll give you whatever power your pedal assist is on There you have it. All right, well, there you go. That was a speed test. Uh, also, this bike gets about uh, 55 to 100 mile range. That depends whether you're riding on pedal assist or a throttle, and also the rider's weight and terrain. Uh, now, that dual battery definitely comes in handy with that long range, so that's one of the pluses. Not to mention the, the, the full suspension uh, being foldable. This is easily one of the, the best foldable bikes we've had in the shop. Again, my name is Nelson. Please like and subscribe, uh, especially for future content and future uploads. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.